This is hydrogen tap. New configuration of the Aaron cell. And this ought to prove interesting. Okay, black is negative, red is positive. You can see we've got this one negative, 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 and negative. Positive is on this side. So there's four and four here. This bottom one is negative. So there's three negative here. We've got a what you call a neutral or a zero plate as far as I'm concerned here. I'm sorry, here. So this is negative, negative, and four positive. The plates, some of these plates here are short plates, meaning short in width, and the others are standard three by six. We're set up in the tube. It's got a gallon and three quarters. We're running at 13 volts and we'll let her go. It's doing pretty good. You can see it's we have to shut it down. Take a look at the amp on this thing. So we're at uh, 20 amps. It's not too shabby. And we've got a charger on the circuit. And you can see the charge. Gotta shut it off. It charges up to 13 volt or about 14 volt, pulls it down to 12. I'm gonna show you a better view of this thing. Okay, it's cooling down now. I got the temperature gauge in there for you. You can see we're at 72 degrees. And we're going to take another look at this. Gives you a better view of it. We're running at 20 amps. Not too shabby. Seventy two degrees. It's drowned to ten, eleven, twelve volts, pulling down to twelve. And we're about nineteen amps and I gotta turn it off. I'm gonna show you something else really interesting in just one moment. shut this off and set it up. Okay, we're back here. As I told you before, I was experimenting with the pulse system and the Aaron cell. If you want to go to my site hydrogentap.com, C-O-M, 
Uh, you can see a lot of these cells there. Or you can write me at John Aarons at hydrogentaptap.com. This turned out to be a little different than I thought, and I think it's worth noting. What we've got is a battery set up in the pulsing system. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but it really works pretty well. You can hear the differences. What I'm going to do, so you hear the clicking of that relay. I've got this coil set up here that I was putting between the relay hooked to the relay. That's the relay I'm using. So I was getting ready to hook this coil up to it and this is what happened. If you listen close, That's the coil transmitting to the electronics. And that may seem funny, but when you try to hook that up to the relay, you get pretty messed up. And what my next thought was, why not move it farther away? So let's going to do that now. I'm going to move it way over here, so to speak. Can see the distance between that and the real in the electronics. We'll try it again. It's not the battery. It's that coil. I'm going to move the battery away. We're going to put the coil behind the camera and I'm going to do the same thing. Nothing. Now it's just in front of the camera. Try it this way. Do it here. Do it here. That's me. Put it back. See how far away the... Here's our battery. I guess for a lot of people they already know about this. I knew about transmitting because of Tesla, but I never realized it was going to cause so much problem. At least we know about it now. And the problem is that when you hook this up to the pulsing system, That's the problem we have. It's, it's changing the pulse. So I have to work it. The pulse has to be a mechanical pulse or the electronic pulser has to be shielded or farther away. At any rate, it's something to think about.